What is going on everybody? My name is Robert Watkin and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add text in Photoshop. If you're new around here then be sure to subscribe to the channel for more tutorials in the future and if you find this video helpful at any point then please leave a like down below. Okay, so before this video properly starts, I would just like to apologise for the bad audio. Unfortunately, my microphone didn't record the sound for whatever reason, and instead I've had to revert to my webcam audio. Um, so we've got a backup, but yeah, it's not going to be the best quality, so sorry about that. Okay, so getting started with this video, guys, what we're going to want to do is click File, and New, and we're going to want to create a new canvas, basically a new document. Now, I'm just going to do mine at 1920 by 1080 uh, just because this is... A standard resolution um, you can do it any resolution you want whatever matches your project needs but we're going to click ok here and we'll get our file here now today we're going to be wanting to add text so the first thing i'm going to do is actually create a new layer so i'm going to go down into this layer at the bottom this new layer button uh, and we're going to click that and you can see it's going to create a new layer so we've got this layer here called layer one just for the convenience of this tutorial i'm going to rename this layer by double clicking on it and naming it text layer. Now that we've named it text layer, we can get into adding the text. So what we're going to do is go to the left here and you can see this little T. That T means we can add text. So if we click on that, it is the text tool. And then we can click anywhere on the screen and wherever we click, we are able to start adding text. So if we click here and type in Robert does tutorials, you can see it has added the text. Now you can also see that it is using my font that I use quite a lot on the channel. Um, I say my font, it's not my font, I didn't make the font, but it's a font I use. Um, you can see it's used but just because that's what I've used recently. Um, if you want to change the actual font family and what it looks like, uh, basically the style of the font, you can go up to the top here and where it says Edo SZ for me, it may say something like Arial or Calibri. These are basically the font families. You want to click on the drop down menu and you can see there's a massive list of lots of different types of fonts you can go through. And you can see on the sample there, it gives you a little indication of what the text looks like. So we could do something like this good times text. And we can get something like this. And you can see the text now looks like that. And what we can also do with the text tool still selected, make sure the text tool is selected for example if at any point you're looking at the top and there's no options for the text just double check you've got the text tool selected uh, if you select your text you can also do stuff like changing the color so we'll go here and we can change the color using this color picker so we could go for like a red but if you decide to move your mouse off of this little window here you can see that we get this little dropper icon uh, what this allows is for us to select any color which is already on our image so what i mean by this is you can see that if we go outside of the image or if we go like up here where the menu is that eyedropper tool disappears if we scroll down again or at least move down again we can see it reappears when we're on the image so let's say we wanted i don't know what we wanted to use this white um, not the most exciting thing, but let's say it was really hard to get this white colour for whatever reason. We can just click on it, select it, and then we've matched the colour exactly. Now, I'm going to actually cancel that, just because I don't want it to be that white colour, um, or else we won't be able to see it. Uh, but I am going to select this again, and I'm going to use that colour picker and change it to red. So now you've got that, you may want to resize the text. So to do that, you can go up to this little drop-down menu here, and you can choose different sizes for the font. So let's go where you wanted. Let's say we wanted quite a small font, we could go for the number 10 here, and you can see just how small that's actually became. If we click on the move tool up here, just so it's not selecting it anymore, and we can see that there. If we hit alt and use the scroll wheel, we can then zoom in, and you can see how pixelated it's became because it is literally that small. So we're actually gonna zoom out again. Um, we're gonna go back and hit the text tool. We're gonna select the text, and we're gonna increase its size once again, uh, just so we can see it a bit better. Let's go a bit more, maybe 72. Now what you can also do, instead of using this drop down menu to actually change the size of the text, if you hit Control plus Shift and then use either the more than or less than symbol, you will be able to increase or decrease the size. So if we use the less than symbol, you can see it gets smaller. If we use the more than symbol, we can see it gets bigger. Once again, we need to be holding Control and Shift at the same time as we press either of these two. Um, and this can make it a bit quicker instead of having to randomly guess which size you want from this drop down menu. Instead, we can just scale it up and see what looks well and what works quite well. Um, so that's how I usually tend to do it. 
What you can also do is if you've got the text selected, you can click on the move tool and then click control plus T on your keyboard and this will give you the transform tool and you can also scale it up using this um, and you can then rotate it as well by clicking just outside of the box. Uh, if you want to scale it uniformly, so it basically means it's not going to distort, you hold shift while you click any of the corners. If you want to scale it so it can be distorted, just don't hold shift and click and you can see that when I scale it now it does change its shape quite drastically. Um, so what we can do, we can just expand this and have some really weird looking text over here. Um, let's try and put that. You can also see that when you rotate, you do get an indication of the inclination. Um, using big words today. <laughs> but you can see that it is showing the angle of the actual text. So I want to make this straight again. So we're just going to put that to zero degrees. Let's try and get this to zero degrees. There we go. And then once it is on zero degrees, let's say we do want to rotate it again. But we want to rotate it in uh, even chunks if we click to rotate and then hold shift you can see that when i start rotating it it'll actually jump to every 15 degrees um so that's just the way you can rotate it more accurately if you want to then once you're done if you click the move tool up here click apply and your text will be in place now you can still actually edit this text so you should be able to still type even though it is distorted um bearing in mind there may be cases where you edit the text and it rasterizes itself which basically means it becomes a normal image and it's no longer text although it'll look like text it's no longer editable text uh, but in this case we can still edit the text perfectly fine um, so if we wanted to we can change this to anything we want like maybe good times we'll change it to good times because the the font name is good times um, and then we can use Control t to scale it up once again move it about a little bit and then we can also hit enter instead of clicking the move tool to kind of confirm it um, and there we go, got some text. Well, that's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. So I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope you found it helpful. There's, of course, many other things you can do with text in Photoshop. In an upcoming tutorial, I'm going to be showing how to use blending options, which are one of my favorite tools to use alongside text. Um, you may see that in my thumbnails and stuff, my text has borders and it has a glow and stuff like that. So I'll be showing you how to do that in a future tutorial. But for now, this is how you use the basics of text. It's how you add text. Also, if you want, you can download any font you want online. And it should be compatible with Photoshop. So once you've downloaded and installed the font, you can go into Photoshop and be able to select that font instead. Um, but yeah, that's where we're going to end this video. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did enjoy, please leave a like down below. Comment any suggestions for future tutorials you may want. And if you do want to say... Uh, yeah. And if you do want to see any more tutorials in the future and you're not already subscribed, then subscribe for more. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. So I'll see you next time. Bye.